were often made had have, have had to be very strong but to take care of everybody else um, I, I think it has to come to a point where we allow ourselves to be to be soft able to unclench our fists able to feel like we can do that and the only way that can happen if the if things in um, America in this world start to start to change I, I think it's something that we as women we, especially black women we put so much on our shoulders and and on our, on our backs that we are we're often so weighed down. I want to be, I want to be free. I want to, I want to just be able to just smile. I know there's there's a line in the play um, where Mary says that I want it to be soft sometimes. I wanted to to ball up in the corner, and but I couldn't because I had to make this place a sanctuary, a home for a husband. I'm like there has to come a time where we can be just be okay with being women and not. To save the world every <laughs> all the time. Yeah. <laughs> to be a black woman in America means that our ancestors, all the kings and the queens on African soil, came here as citizens that were enslaved. And so um, every experience, every system that we were funneled through deprived us of our abilities to love each other and love ourselves. And that we are living the residual effects of that even in the 21st century. So just the permission to fully love is a liberation unto itself. And so um, I would just encourage young women middle-aged woman like me, younger here, um, and older women to just give themselves permission to just fully love. And to love, not just love themselves and love each other, um, but to find that thing that wakes them up every morning and makes them so excited to just be alive that we have the right to really love things and people and ourselves just that deep.